Tony Dye, UCLA junior safety, joins us now. Uh, obviously, a tough loss. Talk about how early, you know, they were able to punch, you know, punch in the mouth. Like you use right. that term all the time. You know, and I don't use it loosely. And they came out and they punched us in the mouth right away. The first drive, they, they ran the ball, they executed exclusively. You know, they came out and they had a game plan. They executed. We did too. We didn't execute. It. That's all there is to that. You know, you talk about the, the fact that your scheme versus their scheme, players versus players, all that kind of stuff. Were they just able to do what they had to do better than you were able to do what you had to do? First half, I'm not even, you know, actually, I'm ashamed to say that the first half they came out and they executed their game plan better than we did. You know, it's, it trickles down, you know, one on, I missed one on one here, I missed, you know, missed tackle there, and it yeah. all it all builds up. You know, just as a whole, they did their jobs better than we did in the first half. Were you almost a little surprised by how, well, how, how good they were? Uh, no, you know, at least personally, I was not surprised. You know, I knew we had a good team coming out on our hands, and uh, unfortunately, our team couldn't get up and get ready to go until the second half. Yeah, Tony, you come into the second half. You know, it's going to be close again. Um, Shane Vereen was able to do things, you know, even though they didn't score points in the second half, to get good field position, you know, kind of re reel off a six or seven yard run instead of maybe a 50 yard run, but it still made a difference for them. Yeah. Um, how important was their offense just churning away, even, le even late, and playing that field position game? You know, it, it was extremely important, especially a guy, a guy like Shane, you know, who, when they needed that critical thing, that critical, whether it be a first down or you know, third and four, and he gets a six yard carry, you know, yeah. he was getting all those chunks in. Those are the kind of plays that you know we've been getting up against Cal for the last two years. We'll play great against them, but then we'll give up a big play here and a big play there, and you know it just builds up, it keeps building up. And we did it again today. Tony, gotta ask: uh, after three straight wins, does this feel like a regression? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a regression. No, I, I think it's an opportunity. An opportunity for you. we've already faced adversity once. We bounce back from that, so I see it as another opportunity to uh, bounce back from this. Do you see any similarities to that Stanford game? Any similarities? Um, yeah, and the fact that we didn't come out as a defense ready to play the first half. You know, and, and obviously, we can't do that. You know, just judging by those two scores themselves, we can't come out not ready to play as a defense. You know, you have pretty good defensive leadership. You, Raheem, Hakeem, all those guys. Uh, what would you What would you credit it to? Just it seems like guys kind of lose their minds at certain times, and it's like you know, Coach Gans talks a lot about the fog of war. You know, when, Marines or whoever it be gets into war, they, you know, they lose their mind. So it's hard to do your assignment. And it's hard, especially, you know, from a, a, a leadership guy like myself or Raheem, we've been here enough. You know, we've seen the bullets flying enough. So it's hard, you know, to talk about trying to get other guys to get on board with that. Yeah. When they get when they get in the game, the head spinning, this and that, and, you know, sometimes it's just hard to recover from that. And, you know, we need to figure out a way to stop that. Good stuff. You see a junior safety, Tony Dye. Thanks, man.